Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege, we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase video. Today we've got a massive Imperial Fists Primaris Army Commission, uh, an incredible project that's been completed by James, one of the artists here at Siege. So let's jump in and have a look at all these awesome models. Without further ado, we're going to start with the characters like we always, always do in our showcase videos. Uh, four characters for you today. We've got obviously got Primaris Apothecary, Lieutenant, Captain and Chaplain. Uh, so really nice uh, sort of HQ elements to this force. So a really really nice set of models let's start with the apothecary um just right from the get-go uh super super white porcelain clean armor on this apothecary uh, unfortunately we have a fallen brother just on the base here as you can see quite nicely um just inspecting those progenoid glands uh, that he has uh, taken from uh, these fallen uh, fallen kin um James has done a great job of picking out every little bit of detail on the miniature, uh, all the sort of little intricacies of the armor, the extra little details like purity seals, the cabling, the little ornate details on, for example, the shins and things, uh, all the screens and vials and everything all fully painted. You can see red and green liquid just in that sort of, uh, what I say weapon, but it's not. It's like that uh, Cherrigan's tool that he's got there. Uh, same on the backpack as well. You can see, obviously, all the vials and everything full of liquid there. Uh, we've also got, obviously, all the little marks and symbols just on the armor all done also, which is just really, really nice. Uh, again, super clean painting on this uh, this apothecary so that's just him uh, then we'll pick f forward the fabled uh, Primaris lieutenant uh, always absolutely loved this pose with that very stoic uh, angled upward blade uh, you can see the little node there just on the sword all painted with that energized blue glow uh, but all the little details across the armor the plug points uh, for this chapter surface to inspect the armor all painted as well uh, the little filigree bits of detail just on the shin all done a slight scattering of weathering on these miniatures also. Uh, so we just have a slight scattering of chips and scratches on some of the armoured areas. Uh, but overall, really, really well executed. Uh, I do really like the uh, the sort of ruby, sort of uh, crimson, sort of aquila that these guys have got also. Uh, just really, really nicely executed. So that's the uh, Primaris Lieutenant. Uh, then we have a captain. Uh, what force would not be complete without a captain to lead it? Um, obviously, we've got uh, this uh, very stoic looking Imperial Fist captain, as you'd expect with an Imperial Fist. You've got Rogel written there on the uh, the bolt rifle, um, just in honour of his father. Uh, and then obviously we've got a really nice uh, black and white cloak and tabard on this chap. Also just a black outer lining, white inner lining, which is really cool. I like all the uh, the sort of uh, braided uh, sort of tassels and ropes that he's got obviously in that white. Also, you see the power node just on the blade glowing there also as well, which is really nicely done. All the screens and dials and buttons fully painted. And again, you've got nice subtle, subtle sort of weathering just on the uh, the armor of the miniature as well, uh, but just really nicely done. So this is the uh, the Primaris captain to lead this force. Uh, and then finally, we have a very sinister looking Primaris chaplain in that obsidian black armor that they're well known for. Uh, you can see all the text and everything done on those long sort of uh, scrolls just hanging from his chest. Um, really nice clean execution across the miniature. Nice subtle amounts of sort of texture and detail just on the... Um, on the sort of uh, cloak or overcoat that this chap is wearing. Um, you've got the book there with all these litanies, uh, just done in a nice sort of maroon crimson color as well, which is really nicely done. Obviously, he's got the Imperial Fist chapter pad just done on his, uh, on his uh, shoulder there, as you'd expect. Uh, again, really, really well executed. I love the attention to detail on all the little bits and bobs on the armor uh, and all the little extra pieces that he's got, like, for example, these purity seals here. Um, again, that very sort of uh, cool sort of cane that he's got as well, which is just awesome. And then you've got his uh, his pistol as well, all painted. And then just on the pad there as well, we've got obviously just got Bastion just written on that uh, on that pad there as well, which is just uh, really, really cool and in keeping with Imperial Fists. Uh, so that's all the characters from the Force, guys. We've got loads coming up, um, which I know you're going to absolutely love if you're a big Imperial Fists fan or, or Space Marine fan, so stick around for all of that. So next up, we have all of the infantry from this force, and uh, there's a whole host of uh, standard infantry uh, coming at you right now. We've got 30 uh, intercessors in three 10-man squads. Uh, we've also got uh, 10 infiltrators, uh, which are really awesome models, and then we've got three extra sergeants that our clients requested just for different loadout weapon options uh, for the squad leaders for the three corresponding intercessor units. Um, so let's jump in and have a look. Um, do absolutely love uh, what James has done with these intercessors. You can see here, this is just one of the sergeants with the um, 
uh, the power fist and uh, bolt rifle outstretched bolt rifle blasting away there ready to follow up with the power fist you can see that lovely sort of subtle weathering that's done on the uh, on the models also you can see all the little details and everything all fully painted fully edge highlighted across all the areas of armor paneling leather work metals and everything um, we've got all little bits of text on the sort of scrolls and things so you've got fists just written on there and you see that lovely subtle weathering just done on the uh, on the armor as well so that's just uh, one of the uh, extra three sergeants uh, got this sergeant here that's just obviously got a, uh, a power fist uh, sorry a chainsaw Sword and a bolt rifle uh, again just advancing here looking very very uh, sort of uh, mischievous uh, about to probably take someone out with that uh, chainsaw by the looks of it again just moving around you can see all the little bits of detail done on this miniature also so you've got absolutely all the areas of armor paneling for the edge highlighted all the little notches and uh, areas of uh, sort of intricacy on the armor the little plug points where the uh, sort of chapter surface read diagnostics on the armor are all sort of painted also uh, all transferred up as you can expect different squad numbers and then obviously we've got the imperial fist pads just on the uh, the models also do really love the crimson aquellas on this uh, commission as well absolutely love that just one of the other sergeants here just obviously with his eyes and everything all fully painted just blasting away with a bolt rifle there while he's advancing uh, he's a magnetized uh, sort of helmet to his uh, or maglocked uh, helmet to his armor uh, so that's just one of these uh, sergeants here and again you just got the the word truth written there on that scroll which is quite cool for him uh, so that's just one side we'll jump back have a look at the infiltrators now so again absolutely love the infiltrator models uh, you got these are from the uh, shadow spear boxes chucking at that grenade there as you can see uh, really really well done Again, every single little bit of detail on these uh, chaps, fully painted extra grenades and bits and bobs on these guys' armor. You've got all the blue sort of lenses painting on the helmets as well. All the little extra aerials and things all fully done. Uh, so that's just one of the uh, one of the uh, infiltrators. I won't pull them all forward because these are from Shadow Spear and they do have um, they do have a different uh, a couple of same poses. So I'll pull forward a few of them so you can see. It's just one of the ones using his sidearm. Uh, again, just advancing and firing there quite nicely. So that's just him. Uh, we've then obviously got the sergeant from that unit. So I'll just grab that miniature so you can have a look. Uh, this is just the sergeant again, just blasting away with his pistol. Uh, I do absolutely love the uh, the sort of carbine versions of the bolt guns as well. Absolutely love these. A real nod back to the original bolt guns of the of the sort of firstborn as well, which I do really like. Uh, so that's just uh, one of these uh, infiltrators. Uh, and then I will pull forward the uh, the chap who's got the uh, Medicaid equipment in the unit as well, as I absolutely love this model. Uh, again, just get that to focus for you. Um, yeah, just using uh, the uh, sort of uh, the reload function on his gun by the looks of it. And uh, obviously all the screens and vials and everything all fully done on him. Uh, but again, really, really nice, super vibrant, saturated yellow that's been done on these miniatures. Um, so that's the, some of the infiltrators. Uh, we'll then pull forward a couple of the, uh, just the, uh, the intercessor marines. So again, these are all very, very similar. There's 30 of them. So I won't pull every single one forward, but just to show you consistency from miniature to miniature in uh, different squads, uh, just so you can have a look. Uh, again, really, really nicely done by James. Again, every single edge fully highlighted, super sharply, super cleanly. Uh, so that's just one of these awesome intercessors. Uh, pull forward one of the other sergeants. So just, you've got another sergeant here that's uh, got various different weapon loadouts on him. Again, so you've obviously got the chain sword uh, and also uh, the, uh, the the sort of bolt rifle, um, but he's just got various different bits of gear on him. So you can see all the eyes and everything fully done on him. Um, and again, we've got, uh, you know, really, really nice care and attention done just obviously on these models. You've got, uh, uh, what have we got written on that one? That's Terra, just written on that scroll there on the bolter, which is just awesome. And again, his chain sword is just embedded into the ground there as well. Uh, just for purposes of, uh, of weapon loadout, he's uh, just planted it there just to, uh, to rest it for a while. Again, another intercessor from that unit, so you can have a look at him. Again, you can see a lovely subtle weathering that's just done all the way across uh, the the, uh, the the model, which is really really nicely done. Uh, so that's just another intercessor from that squad. Then we'll jump across and have a look at some of the other ones from another squad, just so you can see again the consistency from models to models. Uh, again, really really well done. Uh, super cleanly painted. Every little bit of detail on these models is uh, is just uh, you know exquisitely exquisitely done. Uh, so that's just another intercessor. I'll pull forward the sergeant from that unit. Do love this chap. Uh, just looks like he's just punched someone and uh, he's just striding forward for the next victim. Uh, but again, really, really well done. That red rebreather is awesome as well. Uh, again, you can see the little uh, Imperial Fist trinkets and things just done fully across his armor. Uh, so that's just one of these awesome, awesome sergeants from the intercessor units. 
um, and then he'll pull forward one more uh, intercessor so you can have a look at uh, him. Again, the really nice yellow has been used across this force as well, which is just awesome. So really, really nice selection of color uses uh, in the force. And if I just jump right back to the back unit so you can have a look at some of the models from the back unit. Um, we've got obviously just the sergeant from that unit. If I can get that to focus, there we go. Um, again, just uh, fist in the air, charging, advancing, telling his brothers onwards, all the eyes and everything all painted on him. Uh, and again, you can see every little bit of detail fully done on the miniature. I love the little sort of Aquila, sort of like little uh, intri sort of bits of filigree and details on the armor as well, which is just nice. Uh, so that's uh, the sergeant from the back unit. Uh, and I'll pull forward one more intercessor just so you can have a look at the intercessors from the rear unit to match that consistency from model to model. Obviously, there being 30 of them, it's quite nice to obviously just check and make sure. Uh, again, this uh, awesome intercessor here, if I get that to focus. Um, it's, uh, it's really, really well done. I love the advancing pose while he's blasting away with a rifle. And uh, again, you can see all the sort of little subtle weathering that's done across the uh, the armor on this chap also. Uh, so that's it. There we have it. We have got a lovely set of 40 plus infantry for our client in this force. Uh, a really, really great uh, bulk of infantry to uh, to, to have access to when, uh, when sort of selecting an army. Uh, so yeah, do hope you like it. So next up, we've got all of the special and heavy infantry from this force and a really good selection in this uh, Imperial Fist army. We've got uh, five aggressors, we've got five heavy intercessors, two squads of three blade guard veterans, and then we've got three eliminators as well, just front and center. Uh, let's start with the eliminators, the uh, sniper elite of the uh, Primaris force. Uh, and this one does not disappoint at all whatsoever. Again, James has done a really, really great job on all of these. Uh, you can see these lovely kind of deserty schemed uh, sort of camo cloaks, which are just really, really cool. Uh, absolutely love the uh, the effect that, that these have got, which is just great. Um, and if we move around, you can see that super clean yellow armor on all of these, all the little details and things like the, the purity seal was all with full with text on and everything as you'd expect here with us at Siege. Um, a nice subtle sort of uh, weather as you mentioned on the armor, you probably saw it in earlier parts of the video but just really nice and subtle in some areas of the armor of these miniatures um obviously just braced and taking a shot this chap uh we've then got the uh, the sergeant here in the middle uh again really well done also you can see just looking through that sort of uh, single sort of uh, scope that he's got there just obviously looking for a new victim or something i love the subtle little energy glow there just on the inside of these uh, sort of cloaks uh, you'd imagine that these cloaks would project any kind of camouflage that the uh, that the eliminators would need uh so again just just really 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 well done um again a great uh, set of colors used obviously these really nice desaturated sort of browns uh, compared to the uh, super vibrant yellow armor that you've got here on the rest of the infantry, which is just awesome. Uh, so that's him. And then we'll look at the uh, other eliminator from the force, just uh, reloading and uh, to take the next shot by the looks of it. Uh, again, just really, really nicely done. And uh, all the goggles and everything all fully painted there, as you can see. It's that lovely, subtle kind of weathering that's just been done on the armor. Uh, and again, I do absolutely love these uh, these uh, camouflage uh, capes that these guys have got. So that's uh, the eliminators. Uh, we'll then look at the mighty blade guard obviously to uh, take on the brunt of the close combat uh, sort of fight that there will be in this force. Uh, you can see just one of the sergeants here just uh, pointing in that direction to uh, either challenge perhaps or to uh, to, to say uh, you're next, uh, one or the other. Um, but again, really, really nicely done. You can see all the shield and everything all fully painted. There's all text and purity on the purity seals. Uh, but again, really, really nicely done. So that's just one of the sergeants. Uh, then we'll have a look at the uh, another one, just one of the blade guard. Here you can just see just about to strike with that sword. Love the way he's braced with the shield. He's got his own unique heraldry there on the tilt shield also. Uh, again, all the text on the purity seals. Uh, again, you've got these nice subtle sort of glow effects there just on the power nodes on the blades. Uh, but done on both sides. And again, really, really awesome models, uh, these uh, blade guard veterans. Uh, then we'll have a look at the other one from the second or first squad, should I say. Um, so yeah, again, just really, really well done. Just again, slightly guarded pose there. Uh, again, huge sort of uh, pistol holders that have got on their uh, on their waist as well, which I think is just crazy how big they are. Uh, again, a unique heraldry just on that uh, on that tilt shield. Uh, and if we just move around, you can see every little bit of detail on these all fully done. So that's uh, just another one of the blade guard. Jump across to the other squad over here. Uh, again, we've got a really great selection of models in this part of the uh, the force. Just one of the sergeants there with his blade uh, sort of uh, put away, obviously just using his pistol. Uh, and the shield, if we just move around the back, you can see the, uh, again, really, really sharp attention to detail on all the highlighting stages across the armor and all that, the plastic in between the armor. Um, but yeah, really, really, really well done. So that's just this guy, just get that to properly focus for you guys, apologies. Uh, yeah, just that's the sergeant. 
And then we've got two other Blade Guard veterans. Uh, again, I'll bring them all forward just so you can see the consistency from model to model. But again, really, really well done. Um, and uh, do absolutely love the little trinkets and things that these guys also have. Uh, so that's just one of the uh, Blade Guard from this secondary squad. And then the final guy who's just uh, summary executing somebody uh, and then following up with a sword by the looks of it. Uh, just, yeah, really, really cool pose. Uh, and just uh, nice detail work done on all the areas. And I do really love those crimson aquilas that these guys have got. I think it really just complements that yellow extremely nicely. Uh, so that's uh, the blade guard from the force. Then we have uh, the heavy intercessors. So I'll pull these forward. I'm not going to pull all of them forward because obviously they're all very, very similar to just one of the heavy intercessors here. Um, obviously from one of the most recent boxes, uh, one of the newest sort of uh, infantry rank uh, models for the Primaris range. Again, really, really uh, sort of heavily armoured here, as you can see. Uh, very fitting for the Imperial Fists. Again, all with the uh, Imperial Fist pads there, as you can see on the armour. Uh, and that's just one of the heavy incestors. I'll pull forward the Sergeant so you can have a look at him. He's got a, a red rebreather, which is just really cool. He's just got fists written there on that gun also. Uh, so again, just a nice little bit of text to, to fit in with the, uh, the, the, the chapter as well, just on there. You can see again, really, really nicely done. Uh, so that's a sergeant. Uh, and then I'll pull forward one more so you can have a look at him. Just the uh, the chap wielding the ginormous heavy bolter. Uh, again, just a really, really massive piece of kit, the heavy bolter. Um, you would not want to mess with this chap. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and then we'll have the uh, have a look at some of the aggressors. So I'll pull forward the sergeant from the aggressor squad to start off with. Uh, so this is just uh, him. He's obviously the red uh, head helmet. Uh, just to denote his sergeant rank, you can see obviously he's got the bolt storm gauntlets on these on these guys. But again, every little bit of detail fully done on these, all highlighted through multiple stages with full battle damage, uh, nice subtle chipping and weathering just done on the miniatures. Uh, and then let's have a look at a few more from the back unit, just so you can have a look. Uh, again, just get that to focus for you guys, apologies. Uh, and then just advancing this chap here. Um, slight tactical rock on the base as well, which is quite cool. Uh, and um, all the little bits of uh, detail on the ammo loaders on the back all painted. Uh, but again, a super clean finish executed across these. So that's just one of the aggressors. Do hope you like these. We've got even more coming up, so stick around for that. So to finish off this awesome Imperial Fists Army showcase, we have four great units for you to check out. Uh, some real heavy hitting models for the force uh, and for our client to use. Uh, we've got some Hell Blasters, so there's 10 of those, uh, an Impulsor, uh, a Redemptor, and then we also have the Gladiator as well. The really, really incredible multi-barreled, multi-gunned tank, really versatile, a great sort of add-on for your force. Let's jump in, have a look at them. Uh, I'm going to start with the Hell Blasters and start with the Sergeant from the Hell Blasters to just uh, begin this part. But yeah, really, really nice models again. I uh, love the uh, subtle blue plasma glow just on the uh, the plasma weaponry as well. Uh, and you can see obviously on the other models in the Force that blue glow uh, carries on across the other areas of the Force as well. Again, same consistent highlighting, painting and detail work done across all of the miniatures. And uh, this Sergeant does not uh, sort of miss out on any of that. You've got a lovely red rebreather that he has uh, on his wrist obviously you've got all the little uh, sort of buttons and dials and things have all been painted there as you can see uh, and then we move around the back and see obviously all the little uh, sort of nodules and things just on the backpack for the plasma weapon all painted also uh, but again really lovely done um let's have a look at some of the other sort of hell blasters again we've got just this chap here with his sidearm just firing away which is just uh, it's just really cool uh, so just to him obviously just carrying his weapon by the grab handle on the back uh, but again, really nicely executed this uh, this this uh, extra sort of uh, sort of model for the force uh, just for him. Uh, but do really really love uh, Hell Blasters. I think they pack a lot of firepower on the tabletop and uh, just add a real sort of bit of versatility to your force. Uh, so that's this next one from the units. Exactly the same attention to detail throughout on the models. Obviously all the transfers and everything all fully done on these. And they've all got the uh, Imperial Fist shoulder pads or the molded pads as well. All the text done on the purity seals. Uh, so again, really, really nice set of miniatures. Uh, and that's the, uh, the, the Hell Blasters. I'm now going to pull forward the Impulsor for you guys to check out. Again, a really cool transport tank for uh, the Imperial Fists and for the Primaris range. Uh, again, all really, really nicely done. You can see the lighting effects done there just on the front as per a client request. Uh, but again, all the all the lenses on the cupolas done. All the weapons are interchangeable, so there is magnetizing on this, just obviously interchange all the weapons. Uh, again, you can see a nice sort of sectioning of black and yellow on the armored areas. I love the fact that the grab plates are done in black as well, uh, not silver. Just really makes those stand out quite nicely. 
and you've got a really cleanish kind of finish to these uh, on those areas but obviously the armor has got a little bit of scratching and chipping done on it as you can see just in various places um, really nice tonal variation to the lower portions of the tank as well good example there just on this missile launch on the back you see the kind of shaded area towards the back there if we move around the uh, crew compartment part you can see all the uh, screens and everything all fully painted on the inside all the tread plate on the floor has got nice sort of uh, subtle scratching and chipping done on it also which is really really lovely uh, so that's the impulsor from the force um, then we have uh, the uh, Redemptor and uh, what Space Marine Force would not be complete without a Dreadnought or a sort of a sarcophagus encumbered uh, sort of uh, Marine to, uh, to be part of the, uh, the Force and see this, Redempt this awesome Redemptor with every little bit of detail fully painted on him as well. Um, we've got obviously a nice subtle sort of lighting effect there just on that light as per our client request. And then some of the lenses and things all done and painted across the uh, side of the sarcophagus and on the missile launcher on the top. Uh, this is all magnetized so that the weapons are fully interchangeable for our client. The plasma weapons are available and obviously the flamer for the other gauntlet. Um, we just put it in this configuration for the video. Um, and then around the back, you can see that lovely sort of uh, super clean finish on him also. He's got um, obviously that mechanica symbol there just painted uh, or half and half as it should be. Uh, he has his foot on a tactical rock also, doesn't want to be left behind on the uh, tactical rock game. Uh, but again, really, really awesome model to uh, add a severe amount of firepower to the force. And then finally, we have the Gladiator, which I absolutely love. It's like the Primaris uh, Predator, essentially. Uh, but again, you can see uh, all the uh, sort of uh, areas of detail, all the little screens and lenses and everything all fully painted. Again, nice subtle tonal variation, slightly darker towards the bottom of the, of the tank. Um, Again, around the front, you can see all the sort of glow effects done there just on the um, on the sort of lights, all the lenses and everything all done. Again, you've got that lovely crimson kind of uh, sort of Aquila that's been painted on there just to match the infantry. All the transfers and everything all fully painted here, as you can see, uh, on there with some weathering and chipping as well, just to sort of really show the sort of integration of that sort of symbol on the tank. Uh, and again, those grab plates done in black, not uh, not silver. I think it really works. I think it contrasts quite nicely and uh, just adds quite a lot of interest to those areas rather than them being just steel or metal. Uh, so that's the uh, heavier hitting parts of this Imperial Fist Army Showcase, guys. Do hope that you liked it ever so much. Thank you for watching the video for Dawn and for Terra. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.